broke at 4.30. A Minnesota police officer shoots and kills a black man during a traffic stop. And yeah, the tense moments after, recorded by his girlfriend, just hours after the shooting, the video is sparking cries for justice all over this country. Our Brandon Walker is joining us live from the newsroom this morning with what led up to the shooting. Brandon? Hey, good morning, Owen. Good morning, Anusha. We are now hearing from the mother of 32-year-old Philando Castile speaking with CNN just minutes ago. Valerie Castile says, for one thing, she is yet to be able to identify the body of her son because she said in the interview, she has not been allowed to do so. But another thing that both she and the uncle Clarence Castile addressed was the video itself, the video that uh, alerted us to this officer involved shooting in Minnesota uh, and the actions of Castile's girlfriend to have broadcast all of this on a live broadcasting as she did. I don't know how she did it, but she managed to get the information out. Both of them guys are pretty laid back, and they're calm people. They're not aggressive, neither one of them. And that's why she was able to hold her composure, because that's in her nature. So he's licensed to carry. He was trying to get out his ID and his wallet out his um, pocket, and he let the officer know he had a firearm and he was reaching for his wallet and the officer just shot him in his arm. Yeah, this is the video that they're talking about right now that's been seen by over a million people since taken down from Facebook the seconds after Castile was shot by a St. Anthony police officer. Here's a look at the aftermath of the scene there and now a picture of 32-year-old Philando Castile who worked for the St. Paul Police Department, we are told. He does have a concealer, or did have a concealed to carry license. He was reaching for his ID, according to his girlfriend during that video when the officer, an image of a man believed to be the officer there uh, fired several shots according to the video. Meantime, there are several people, lots of people, I should say, protesting this matter at the residence of Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton. Yeah, this was the crowd last night out front the governor's mansion. That group has stayed there all night. They've dwindled down, but they've continued uh, to stay out there demanding justice for Castillo, a man they say was shot for no reason. Meantime, the interim police chief of the St. Anthony Police Department did address reporters to confirm that officer involved shooting and that the investigation is underway. When asked about the Facebook video, though, he said at the time, at least of the media briefing that he had not been alerted to it again, that video, the reason why many of those people you just saw there in that video outside the governor's mansion were alerted to this officer involved shooting in Falcon Heights, Minnesota. That is a suburb of St. Paul. Meantime, we can tell you that the Minnesota Department of Bureau, the, the Minnesota Bureau, excuse me, of uh, criminal apprehension is investigating this matter as the video surely will uh, prove helpful in their investigation as they figure out what happens here. We're going to keep monitoring this story, more developments. That interview from the uncle and the, uh, the mother coming in just minutes ago. As soon as we get more information, We'll keep updating you here from the newsroom. Owen and Anusha, let's send things back to you. All right, Brandon, we do appreciate it, sir. We'll check in with you in a little while. Now to a developing story. The country's also.